Hey, you crazy bot nerds. This is Pat Friedel with Braintrust Interactive, and I want to show you a new method that I discovered today on how to trigger the Facebook pixel for people coming into and out of your bot. Now, I know there are uh, lots of ways to do that that people have shown, uh, but they all involved a paid third-party platform or a plugin or something like that. This method here lets you manage the whole thing uh, for free and on your own, and you're in control of the whole thing. So if you're ready to get started, I will show you how this works, and we'll dive right in. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set it up so that we can actually pixel people coming into the bot. So um, normally this would happen if you've got a ref link for people coming in. So if you're sending somebody an email and they want to come into the bot that way um, through a link, or if you've got a link in a post and you're you know telling people to go and, and click that link to get into your bot, then that's what will trigger the pixel for people coming into the bot. So what I have here is I have a very simple flow set up uh, just to test that says, you pixeled me, let's trigger a lead event. So what I'm gonna do is you've gotta set up a, uh, a growth tool, a ref link URL growth tool so that it can actually point to this flow. So what you gotta do is go over to flows or uh, growth tools and you create a new growth tool and I'm gonna call it um, pixel trigger, okay? And I'm going to create a messenger ref URL growth tool. And instead of triggering uh, the opt-in message that are automatically creates, I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna to go to the test flows that I've got here and I'm gonna pick, uh, pick the uh, pixel my face flow. And I'm gonna select that. So if I go to the next, uh, then I've got this link built here. So what I want to do is I want to copy that to the uh, clipboard and I'm going to go into a text editor. Um, I like to use uh, Sublime Text and I've got this really, really big for everybody so you can see it. And I'm just going to paste that link right in there. So that is the link that will go to uh, the flow. And the next step is you got to come over here and you uh, load up your pixel or you've got to get your pixel ID. So if you come into your business uh, Facebook manager and or Facebook business manager, you come over here to your, uh, your menu and you can select your pixels and you can pick whichever pixel that you want to use. And I'm just going to select this pixel here. You notice that I've never used it. It's my personal account. So it's only got one event. And once I've copied the pixel ID, I come back over here and I paste it into the text editor. Okay. Now, now we set up the Integromat scenario. And if you have never used Integromat, it's like Zapier, um, only I like it a lot, lot better. Um, and it's very easy to use. And uh, Integromat can do this uh, whole pixel thing and uh, Zapier can't. So we're gonna use Integromat. Now what you could do over here is you create a scenario and I'm just gonna click skip. And I've built a scenario. You don't have to build this at all. It's already ready for you to, uh, to import. So you come down here and you click the little three buttons. You say import a blueprint and you click that. And if you're looking in the comments um, or in the files section where this video is posted, you'll see a, a, a file that you can download. I call it Trigger Me Pixels. So we're gonna go with a, a pirate theme here. So um, we're gonna load up the Trigger Me Pixels uh, JSON file and you hit save. And you'll notice that it's basically a super, super simple scenario where you have a webhook that receives data and you got a webhook that actually spits out data and that's what's gonna help us trigger our pixel. So what you wanna do once you've got this thing imported is you absolutely, positively, must come over here and click this clock icon and set it to fire immediately. What that does is it lets the uh, webhook interact with your uh, interact with the web and everything as soon as data comes in. So um, that way it won't be sitting there on a timer and, and it won't mess things up. Now, if you test this later on and stuff doesn't work, that's the first thing to check. This absolutely must be a little lightning bolt icon to trigger everything immediately. So the next step is to actually create the webhook. So this is built as a, you know, just a basic template. There's no webhook here. And what a webhook is, all it is, is it's just a URL where you post data and that's it. So we're, we actually have to create that in Integromat. So we're gonna click over here on the add and I'm gonna go with, stay with the pirate theme. I'm gonna call it uh, trigger me pixels like that. And you'll notice that it is now 
sitting there with this brand new shiny URL waiting for data and it says it's waiting for the information and it's now listening for the data. We're going to copy that to the clipboard. We're going to go back to our text file here and here's where we're going to build our link. Okay, This is very important and uh, you do this just nice and slow. Okay, So you want to paste that link and so you say uh, you know, it's the hook, the integromat, etc. It is your unique web hook, and you've got these little uh, parameters that you're going to pass. So the first thing I'm going to pass is I'm going to put in a question mark PID, which stands for pixel ID, and I see equals, and I'm going to copy that pixel ID that I copied off of Facebook, and I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to put an ampersand EVT, EVT stands for event. And I want to tell it that I'm doing a page view, okay? So I'm going to trigger a page view event. You could trigger add to cart. You could trigger um, content view. You can trigger all the different events that Facebook lets you trigger. You can even trigger custom events. But you just that's all you know Facebook Pixel type stuff. That's this is not a, a tutorial on Facebook Pixels. Right now we're just going to fire the uh, page view event. And the next thing I want to do is I, once we trigger the pixel, I have to tell you know Integromat where to send us. So I'm going to put another ampersand, and I'm going to do R E D I R equals, and that stands for redirect. And I'm just going to go up here like this. And so now we have this big long URL. So once I have that uh, built, I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to just go ahead and paste it into my browser. Now what you'll notice is that nothing happens right off because it just says accepted. That means we've sent data to the Integromat scenario. Now you'll look that it says successfully determined. So that means we have received data, it knows what the data looks like, and it knows what to do with it. Now just to show you what's going on here is this webhook actually uses the data that we've posted in here. You see if I hover over that reader, it looks like it's pulsating that first webhook uh, module there and you can see that it's actually pulling data from that that portion of the webhook or the scenario and this is just a little bit of uh, HTML and JavaScript code that loads up your pixel with your pixel and it loads up the event and then it will actually uh, redirect once the pixel triggers and it will only redirect once the pixel triggers um, and then right up here we have uh, just a meta refresh which actually triggers two seconds after um, uh, you know basically it will trigger the page two seconds uh, after they hit it or after it renders to the browser and that's just to make sure that they actually get redirected no matter what so it's kind of a fail safe to make sure that they don't you know your your user isn't just looking at an empty screen but I have tested this on mobile it does work on mobile and it works on desktop so we have no problems there so that's all you have to worry about there you can look at the code if you want to um, it's not necessary uh, so now that we've got this uh, this data determined and everything the webhook is set up I want to click save uh, I'm going to come up here, I'm going to name this uh, Trigger Me Pixels again, Avast, you scurvy dogs, we're going with the pirate theme. So Trigger Me Pixels, and I'm going to save it. And the next thing you do, the last thing that you got to do is uh, you actually turn it on and you just set it to run. So now let's see what happens if um, I copy that link again and paste it into the browser. So again, remember we've got, I'm going to break this down for you. I'm going to paste this here, and so if you come up here, I'm going to show you what we've got going on and how this actually works. So you've got the webhook here. We're actually sending people to an Integromat webhook. We're passing in the pixel ID with that PID parameter. We're passing in the page view event with the EVT parameter, and we're telling the bot or telling Integromat where to send us after the pixel fires with the reader. Um, parameter. So I'm going to copy this URL and then you can see what happens. It's going to go here like this and wait for it. And see how it redirected? Holy moly, we are now messaging the bot. And it says, You pixeled me. Let's trigger a lead event now. So we have just triggered the pixel. And uh, so the next step is going to be actually triggering the pixel when we leave the bot. So uh, you might be thinking to yourself, that is one ugly ass looking uh, URL. Well, all you got to do is you go over here to bit.ly or your favorite URL shortener. 
and you say paste a link to shorten it. Boom. And there you go. Look at that. Ah, oh, you got a nice little happy sh short link. So let's try that out. Bam. Look at that, huh? So now you got a short link. So let's trigger a pixel leaving the bot, uh, and we'll dive into that here in just a second. Okay, so now we're back here in MiniChat, and we're gonna show you how to set up um, how to trigger pixels leaving the bot. And the reason you might wanna trigger pixels leaving the bot is, let's say you're just linking somebody uh, to a PDF. So you can't really trigger a pixel when somebody views a PDF. Or let's say you've got a client site, uh, you're sending a, a user to the client's website and they don't have access or you don't have access to put a pixel on there. So you still want to trigger an event for uh, people, you know, leaving your bot and going to that particular resource. So uh, maybe it's a video, or you're sending somebody to YouTube, something like that. So you wanna actually trigger, say like a content view or a lead uh, event or something like that in, in uh, Facebook so that you can actually build these audiences. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this so it's future proof. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the settings I'm gonna to go to my custom fields and down here we've got bot fields. Bot fields are awesome. They are uh, basically they're like user, uh, user custom fields but they're global for the bot. So I'm gonna create a new bot field. I'm gonna call it pixel ID like that. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna take the pixel that I was using and then I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna put that in the text just like that. So now I've got my pixel ID I can use through the entire bot. So now I'm gonna come back over here to my test flows. I'm gonna go to the pixel my face and I'm gonna edit that. And so then I'm gonna actually add a button here and say, uh, call it pixel me. And I'm gonna have it open a website. So again, the website address, uh, let's go and build that. Let's say we're gonna pixel ourselves and send ourselves to say like Amazon and we're gonna send an add to cart uh, event or something, right? So I've got this uh, this Integromat hook built here, and so we're going to use the same Integromat hook. We're going to um, basically kill this off because uh, the pixel ID because it's already in the bot, and we're going to send um, add to cart event and do that. Now the redirect, I'm going to not send them to the bot because that'd be kind of stupid. I'm going to send it to Amazon.com like that. So now I've got this big fat link that I can just go ahead and I can paste into the URL, but I still need to add my pixel ID. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use the bot field. I'm going to look for it. There it is. The custom bot field pixel ID, just like that. And I'm going to say done. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, test it out. So just a, a quick recap, what we've got going on is that we're going to our Integromat, and this you'll use this to, if you wanna trigger the pixel for anything. This is your webhook for triggering your pixels. Any pixel from any bot from, well actually that you can trigger from any any URL or any location at all. You can just trigger pixels with this webhook now. So it's going to that webhook right there to uh, to grab the pixel, I'm sending in my pixel ID, I'm sending in the add to cart event, and I'm gonna redirect the person to Amazon. So let's see if that actually works from inside the bot. We're gonna look at it here real quick. We're gonna make sure we've got the pixel ID after the PID parameter, and it is. And so let's say done, and I'm gonna publish it just to make sure, and then let's preview it and see what happens. So let's open that up in Messenger. And it says, you pixeled me, let's trigger a lead event now. Well, actually we're doing an add to cart. So I'm gonna pixel me, wait for it. Here we go, boom, it's going to, boom, there we go. We have triggered a pixel. Now, I don't know if it'll, uh, if Facebook will update that fast, but I know if I go here and reload the page, it'll show multiple events, I believe. It should show, nope, it's not showing any events yet, so it's, uh, got one uh, one event basically. So if I go to the details, it should show me how many times it's triggered today. Now it's uh, it's not updating all the way yet, but we have triggered the pixel um, and we did redirect to Amazon. So there you go guys, that is how you trigger pixels in and out of your mini chat bot. Um, the file is below, the, uh, the scenario is below and uh, hopefully 
you will uh, be able to trigger many, many, many pixels and create lots of custom audiences. All right, enjoy, have a good day.